docks are always filled with the sound of seagulls, ships, and other machines moving goods from dawn till dusk. Fishermen deliver their fish here, to be taken away on a special train called the Flying Kipper. Henry often pulls this train. This year, the fishermen had caught more fish than ever before, which meant more work for Henry, but he didn't mind. The salty night air makes him cheerful indeed. But things don't always go well, and Henry sometimes gets into accidents. One night, Thomas arrived with extra vans of fish for Henry's train. He hated the smell of fish, but was happy to see Henry. Henry looked sad. What's the matter, Henry? asked Thomas. Is the smell bothering you too? No, said Henry sadly. I've been thinking. About what? Whenever I have an accident, it's almost always when I'm pulling the flying kipper. Henry lowered his voice. I think the kipper might be cursed. Thomas stared blankly. Well, that's a load of rubbish, said Thomas bluntly. The smell of the docks must be getting to your smoke box. I'm sure once you've had a good run, you'll feel much better. Henry smiled. He was still nervous about making the run. Henry made his way through the coastal route. All was going well, and the train was making good time. Suddenly, the train fell to pop. The rear vans came off the rails crashed into the tunnel. Henry's driver quickly stopped the train. Luckily, no one was hurt. Clearing the mess took a long time, and the flying kipper was very delayed. The next day, Thomas saw Henry as he was picking up passengers. Henry was safe and sound. See, Henry, said Thomas jokingly, all this cursed nonsense was just you being silly. Henry scowled. Silly? The rear half of my train crashed into the sea. Oh, really? said Thomas, trying his best not to sound surprised. You were probably just careless. I bet I could pull the train and nothing bad would happen. The engine's driver is more curious. It's heavier than what Thomas is used to. I'm sure we can manage, said Thomas's driver. The drivers agreed to swap the engines. That night, Thomas brought the extra vans as usual. But this time, he coupled the flying kipper to his train. The guard blew his whistle, and Thomas set off. Be careful, said Henry, worriedly. Thomas scoffed and whistled back. Pulling the heavy train was hard work, but Thomas made the run right on schedule with no mishaps. Confident, Thomas looked forward to seeing Henry the next day.
next day, Henry did see Thomas, but Thomas was very cross. All the fish we delivered arrived spoiled. We were blamed. We certainly won't be trying something like that again. Just then, Henry's fireman had a realization. The vans that derailed the other nights were the vans Thomas brought, he said thoughtfully. Everyone looked at Thomas. Perhaps the culprit must be Thomas himself. After the previous night's mix-up, Thomas's duties were swapped with Percy. That night, Percy shuffled in with Thomas's vans. Sorry I'm late, he panted. The fog is so heavy I had to go slowly. You best be careful. I'll try, Henry said uneasily, and he set off into the fog. Thomas had to take Percy's mail train for the night. The fog was thick, and he could hardly see. I hope I can go home soon. Thomas neared the signal box. The signal failed to notice Thomas in the fog and accidentally sent him down the wrong line. Henry was carefully making his way through the fog with the flying kit. As Henry reached a bend, the fog began to clear. But his relief was short-lived. Thomas was heading straight for him on the same line! Both engines applied their brakes, but there was no time to stop. The engines braced for impact. Suddenly, Henry felt a bump. His front wheels left the rails, and Henry followed him. Just in time. Thomas's buffers were only a few inches from the rear vans in Henry's train, which were still firmly on the rails. Both the engine's crews frantically checked the trains over, and found that everyone was safe. The curse had saved Thomas and Henry. Later, Henry was back on the rails and everything was back to normal. I'm sorry I didn't believe you, Thomas said. That's all right, said Henry. After tonight, I think it's more of a blessing than a curse. Gordon heard everything and rumbled past. A curse? What nonsense! The idea of such a thing! Then. As if on cue, a crane unloading a crate of fish began to malfunction. Gordon looked up in shock, but before he could say a word, the crate dropped and fish landed all over Gordon. Big Engine was most embarrassed. Thomas and Henry could only laugh. The Kipper curse wasn't so bad after all. <laughs>